What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Paul Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like a video. We back today with a new topic, man. I don't know if you had a chance to check out or if you have checked out the Queen's Flip interview with um, the OG Bloods and all that about the whole start of the Bloods, but they ain't really got to get too deep in it because they was um, still getting out old issues that they had with each other. Um, so it all started, you know what I'm saying, had a, the Soul B interview on, on Queen's Flip. And you know what I'm saying? That was a good interview. Go check that out. You know what I'm saying? He said his story about how blood started and his life coming through the jails and all that. And some of the other big homies took offense to it. You know what I'm saying? Basically, it was like he was a big homie. He was their big homie first. They went to jail. Blood started. He was already a legend of the Soul B dude doing his thing. Blood started. He up north. Blood starts on the island. His little homies turned blood. Before him, you know what I'm saying? When I say little homies, I mean like in the street. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no lead. He was God by that. I don't know if they was if they was just younger than him, looked up to him. So his little homies. Not no blood ties yet. So he turned they turned blood in, in, in Rikers Island and all that. He's up north. So eventually when they make their way up north, they turn him blood. So now in the gang life, he the little homie, but he's still the big homie in his head, cause I'm still he's still the big homie regardless, cause y'all look up to me. I'm just turned blood after y'all. Y'all brought me into the into this situation. But so that so when he said that whole story. The CK, who was another big homie, took offense to the whole situation. He's the one supposedly turned them blood, but he or he says out his own mouth, I looked up to Bo to um, so B and all that. So yeah, man. So then, then today they had all of them up there: Killer Cat, Mel Cross, CK, um, Wildcat, um, Stack Stone. They had them all up there. You know what I mean? They had them all up there. And they was trying to get the story as far as like who started blood and how how it. And they all had first they had they. You know, Zach Stone and numbers off. Then CK just goes into the whole situation with So B, which was still would have been a good situation, but they all drunk. You know what I'm saying? They can't really one person giving half the story, the next is finishing the story. So it's like you getting mixed stories. They all not just together in their story. Like they, you know what I'm saying? They they giving information and they gotta correct each other and all that, which is common. That's gonna happen in the conversation. But as far as the video, you couldn't really get as much as you was getting in the solo video. Like the Killer Cat video, you got a crazy story. And um, the Soul B interview, you had a crazy story. It was by itself. They was able to get their story out without getting interrupted and cut. So Queen Flip could have just split that up because you had Mel Cross up there. He ain't get a story out yet. You had Wildcat. All the, all the stories we heard about Wildcat, we ain't never get to finally put a face on. You you got him you can get a one-on-one -on -one with. Um, Killer Kev, you got still stuff you could go in with. You got CK, that would have been a crazy one-on-one -on -one interview. So he should have went that route with him. You know what I'm saying? His show, he running how he won. He probably could even get him separated. He probably right then and there he had to get them all. But if he had all those dudes separate and got their story individually, then bring them all together with not maybe straight pop the bottle when you start the interview instead of just having everybody all drunk by the time the interview start, it probably would have been a better interview. Like, come on, you set them up. They all twisted. They talking about mad stuff. The big homies crying. You could tell it's an emotional situation. They talking about real blood and tears. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's emotional. Yeah, that could that could have been off camera. And then you could have had the real interview as far as you got deep into the story. On camera, you understand what I'm saying? So yeah, we gotta do that again, man. Cause you got those, you got those dudes up there that they legends in that blood world. You know what I'm saying? Like they first generation. People don't heard their name throughout. The, then that's a tricky subject. I wasn't even gonna talk about them cause it's like, but being everybody else talks, it's like a, it's like a big thing on the internet right now. This whole gang life, everybody's so infatuated with these gangs. So I'm gonna talk about it too. I'm not give my take on it. So yeah, that's my take, man. Shout out to Queen Flip. He's doing his thing, man. I, I'm, I like the quick to flip, um, flip the script podcast. You know what I'm saying? I watch that all the time. You know what I'm saying? But he should have just... And he, you know it was kind of crazy because he had to do the, the disclaimer before the video and everything. Like, yeah, I had to... Um, I'm not putting stuff out. And if you know Queen's Flay, he's like, I ain't, edit, I, I ain't editing nothing. I ain't deleting nothing. His first thing, yeah, I had to edit. Uh, I, I can't put that all... He know. And we seeing the edited part in that interview was crazy as far as it was all over the place. We seeing the edited part. So imagine the unedited part. It like it probably got physical and all that, like they were saying. The way they was talking, and then he's like the way he can't put it out and all that. Like it got crazy. It probably be better. It probably be better TV, a better interview. He just dropped it like that. But it probably so crazy. He just had to chop it up. So now it looks. It sounds. It looks a little funny. The interview. You see little chops and all that. But yeah, man, go check that out if y'all have it, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. This is a What's the Numbers TV. This your boy Poe Rowe. You know what I'm saying? We out here working, man. I'll be back before you know it, man. Peace.